This is massive! In today's video, we'll be sailing from Hong Kong to Macau. Over the past few days, we were able to sample just some of the amazing food Hong Kong has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you go back and watch our previous Hong Kong videos. To keep up to date with our travel and food adventures, remember to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. Good morning guys, John here. And Molly. Welcome back to the channel. This morning we're just going to do a little bit more exploring and eating before we jet off to Macau. Let's go! First up, we stopped by Hokkaido Dairy Farm to try their Hong Kong style breakfast. So we're trying their scrambled egg sandwich. This looks different to this other scrambled eggs that we've had at other Hong Kong style cafes. So it looks like they've folded their egg. And here it doesn't look like they've toasted their bread, but there's a lot of butter inside. I can already feel that the bread's really soft though. Mmm, tasty. Very buttery though. Probably not the best eggs I've had here, but it's simple and still satisfying. So I've got some instant ramen with a pan fried pork chop and a fried egg. Let's try it. Ooh. Big bite. There's nothing special about the noodles. It pretty much is instant noodles. Let's try the pork chop. This looks good. Mmm. That's a good pork chop there. Succulent, a little bit crispy on the outside because of the pan frying and it's got good flavor too. Yum. Mm. We're in Macau! Yeah! <laughs> so we've just hopped off the ferry and straight onto a shuttle bus. So all the major hotels in Macau will have a free shuttle bus that takes you directly there. So we're staying at the City of Dreams. Ooh! Fancy! <laughs> we'll see you when we get there! <laughs> just arrived at our hotel. It's called the Countdown at the City of Dreams. Right there! All right, let's go in and check out our pad for the next two days. So we just got into our room at the Countdown Hotel. We're staying on the 25th floor. That's really high up, considering this hotel only has 30 floors. Let's quickly show you guys a room tour of the place we're staying at. It's incredible. Check out the bed. Ooh, heart swans. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the view. Nyeh, nyeh. Whoa. There's a city of dreams over there. Oh wow, I'm not sure what that building's called, but that building looks awesome. Holy moly, that's a lot of solar panels. TV, your desk, got a bar for us. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, fancy schmancy. Shower and bathtub. Hey guys. And this must be the toilet. 
that was a quick hotel room tour. Now we're gonna go find some food because we're damn hungry. <laughs> Right now we are at the Galaxy Hotel in Macau. Yeah. Our hotel actually offers free shuttle buses all around to the major hotels in Macau. So you basically you can hot spend the whole day hotel hopping. So we are in Macau and for our first meal we're gonna have some KFC. Just because it's raining outside and we don't really want to get wet right now. So in Australia, they don't provide us gloves, but in Macau, they do. So I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, first thing we've got here, it's something different. It's their black garlic fried chicken. Check that out. It's got some black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds on it. It looks really crunchy. I can't wait. I'm going to bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. Some really good garlic flavor there. Skin's really, really crunchy. Chicken's really juicy as well. Oh yeah, this is good. Next up, we've got KFC's grilled flavor chicken. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's a different flavor. Kind of barbecuey with a bit of sweetness, but the meat itself still very succulent. Mm, it's good. Instead of the normal potato and gravy and coleslaw, they've got mushroom rice. Mmm. Quite peppery. So it's like mushroom gravy, a bit of pepper and rice. A good side with the chicken. Mm. And check that out. Apparently, it's a red bean cake. Oh, this is really good. It's got like a mochi texture and it's got that red bean inside. It's like red bean paste. It's got a nice crispy texture though on the outside and very soft and mochi like on the inside. It's good. Mm, I like it. So, we've made our way now to the Venetian Hotel. And this is by far the most popular hotel with the tourists. So many tourists are here. It's probably to see this. So we're just at Lord Stowe's Cafe and Bakery at the Venetian. And we picked up their famous Portuguese egg tarts. They're still warm and they smell so good. Oh, it smells buttery and delicious. I've been waiting so long for this. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. It's still so warm, just fresh out of the oven. The pastry is super flaky. It tastes similar to an egg tart. But I think the main difference is that little char burnt top on there. Oh. So good. So the rain has stopped in Macau. Finally! Right now we're in Villa de Taipa or Taipa village. We're on the hunt to look for some authentic Macanese food. So we're just seated down at a restaurant called Cafe Littoral or Littoral or I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that but it serves authentic Macanese food. I've never had Macanese food before. Let's see what they have on the menu. This was our first time trying authentic Macanese food. Since it was our first time, we just had to get a variety of dishes. Just look at that spread. Wow.
first up were the codfish cakes. They had a crispy exterior and the interior was soft, flaky and a little bit mushy. These were leaning on the salty side for us, but still worth a try. We also ordered a plate of clams, which were bathing in a delicious, garlicky, spicy, buttery broth. Make sure you scoop up some broth with every bite. These were seriously addictive to eat. This is crispy suckling pig on a bed of Portuguese fried rice served in none other than a pig. How absolutely fitting. The skin was thin and crispy and the meat was well seasoned. The fried rice had pieces of chorizo in it, which was absolutely fantastic. And lastly, we have the African chicken. This is a massive. This chicken was so tender. Look at those pieces just fall apart. The spicy tomato based sauce was amazing. If you ever come to Macau, this is one of the must try dishes. The perfect ending to our first authentic Macanese meal. So we're still in Taipa village. After dinner, we had to go find some dessert. We're at a place called Mok Yege, and they have a whole bunch of durian desserts. So I've got a durian ice cream here. Oh, even before I open it, I can full smell it. Oh, it smells so good. I love that funky smell. Some people might think it smells like trash juice. I think it smells divine. Oh, it's soft. Oh, smells straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so smelly. That's so good. Mmm. Yep. So the durian that they use in here is the Musang King durian. It's supposed to be one of the most highest quality durians. Mm-hmm. If you're a durian lover and you're in Macau, come by. Mok Yeke for some of their durian ice cream. We also got the sawdust pudding, or I think it's also known as suradura, which means sawdust in Portuguese. Ooh, yes. The reason why it's called sawdust pudding is because it looks like sawdust at the top, but I think it's actually biscuits at the top. Mm. The bottom layer is cream and the top layer is the biscuits. Mm. It's kind of like a moussey type texture and the biscuit top is a nice balance of flavour. This dessert is a specialty of Macau I think. Definitely try it if you're in Macau. So the rain is back in Macau. No. Thanks so much for following our first day in Macau. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any comments, make sure to leave it below. We love reading them. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you guys.